So in this video I'm going to to change uh, each vertex color. So at the end of the video it will our triangle will look like this. So red, green and blue. So let's get into it. First of all, I'm gonna change this array. I'm gonna add some colors to it. So the first vertex will have red color. So Next vertex will have green color, so zero for the red, one for the green, and zero for the blue, and the last vertex will be blue, so zero for the red, zero for the green, and one for the blue so I'm gonna comment it this will be the positions this three vertex uh, s three vertices and this will be the colors okay so now we're gonna change the vertex shader. We have the position and uh, I will change this vector 4 to vector 3 and add another input vector which will be type of vector 3. Let's say color position color and I need an output vector so out vector uh, free let's say it will be new color new, oh, okay new color in the main method I'm gonna delete this line and set the gl underscore position equal to vector four position comma one point zero and then f semicolon and set the uh, new color new color equal to the input color so what I'm gonna type it out and I'm gonna briefly explain what's happening here so in the fragment shader I need an input vector f uh, vector free uh, Vector four, uh, yes, four, vector four, and uh, how to name it out color, out color. So I'm gonna delete this line. And in vector, I'm gonna set new color to the to vector four type, and uh, no, 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 in vector three, not the new color, but the out color, out color. First argument is the new color, 
and the second argument which is the alpha is 1.0 f so let me check my notes uh, looks like it's okay okay I have a typo here this is not lowercase p but with the uppercase p in the vertex shader and I am gonna copy these three lines and change it to the position to color copy it this to color this to color and this to color so now we are getting the color att attribute location from the shader which is uh, here input vector free color so this color variable refers to this mm, GL float false so it's it's not gonna work yet because first of all now we have six times three so eighteen um, float values which is 18 times 4 bytes so 18 times 4 is 40 plus 32 72 so here in the GL buffer data now we are copy, copying 72 bytes of data to the GPU tremor started to draw uh, and yes here at the end it's none it's I think it's okay but here it it uh, so it is the offset yes it's, it's it's the offset so here we need 12 bytes because the color occurs here so this is 4 8 12 so at the 12th byte starts the color so and we can unfortunately just give it 12 like this but we need to use something like the C types. C types uh, dot C underscore void. Uh, not void, but void. Void. And give it 12. And I'm gonna change control C this to the same with zero. So let me double check. Uh, oh. may, may, it may work for f now. Oh, and not. <laughs> Okay. Shader. Old color. Uh huh. We are missing a semicolon here. So now. Uh huh. Hmm. I need to. I, uh, I gonna debug it uh, off screen. Okay, I have it. I, <laughs> I just forgot to change this zero here, which is a stride. So it it needs to know 
uh, how many bytes are between each position and uh, uh, attribute. So, as you see, between each position there are six float values, six times four is twenty-four. So, the f so here is the first, after twenty-four uh, bytes, the second, after twenty-four four bytes, the third vertex. So, we will need to change this two to twenty-four, and now it should work. And yes. We have a beautiful rainbowy triangle and here is the red, green, blue and the colors between them is, is automatically interpolated by OpenGL as you see. So I'm gonna briefly explain what happening in the uh, shaders. So as you see we have two input vector of vector three one is a position and one is a color and we set uh, their values here in the gl vertex a3 pointer position and a3 uh, pointer color set their values based on this uh, triangle uh, array here. So uh, we are creating an output vector free called new color and set the output color, new color, named new color to the input vector named color uh, here in this line. And here we are setting the gl underscore position, which is a built-in uh, vector four uh, type in in uh, GLSL, uh, equal to the vector four position. Position has uh, is a vector three, so we need and we we need to add an additional val additional value, which is one. So here. As I said, said uh, we are outputting uh, the new color from the vertex shader to the fragment shader. So here is input vector new color. So it needs to have the same name as as the output color output vector in the vertex shader and. Uh, we are setting an output in the fragment shader of, of type vector4 and uh, we are setting this value, the, uh, the out, co out color to the value of, of uh, a new color plus this uh, alpha of 1. Uh, okay.